In this video, I'll show you how to plot the values of one numeric column against another in the form of a scatter plot. To start, I'll import some data that contains at least two columns of numeric data. This is a file with test scores that I found on the internet. Each row represents a student, and each column represents a test. A scatter plot will show us whether the test scores seem to be correlated, that is, if a student who does well in reading also tends to do well in mathematics. To start, I'll select a column on the left-hand side of the summary view. Here I've selected someone's first grade reading score. To plot it against another value, I'll select that other value over on the right in the covariate table. In the first case, I'll just plot this value against itself. You can see here that the test scores, the first grade reading score, is perfectly correlated with itself, which should be obvious. Now I'll choose another column, such as the general knowledge score. This shows me a scatter plot. On the y-axis is the reading score, which I selected on the left, and on the x-axis is the general knowledge score, which I selected on the right. If you look closely, you'll see a dashed line. That represents the best fit line between these two values. To show this line, you can use the button on the bottom right with the configure icon. You can show this best fit line all the time, only if, st if it is statistically significant, or never. To view the scatter plot, you need to make sure that the dots button is selected on the bottom. If you have bars, t-test, or boxes selected, that graphic will be shown instead. To export the scatter plot as a graphic, simply control click it. You can export it as a JPEG, PDF, or PNG, and you can export the underlying data as CSV, Excel, or JSON, or copy that data as value pairs to the clipboard to paste in another program of your choice. That's about all there is to do with scatter plots. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment.